Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Toastmasters and many guests. Recently, I watched one TED speech. The title, Try Something New for 30 Days. Have you ever watched this TED speech? You did good. Wow. The speaker of this speech, Matthew, before he felt like he was stuck in a rut. So he decided to follow. In the footsteps of the great American philosopher Morgan Stoller, who had eaten only hamburgers for mm. 30 days. Wow. The idea is to uh, try something new for 30 days. Mm. Matthew said, 30 days is just about the right amount of time to add a new good habit or subtract a bad habit in our lives. And we can do anything we want for 30 days. Mm. So, he got his 30 day challenges. Mm -hmm. During one month of, of his 30 day challenges, what did he do? He did four great things. First, before he was a desk dwelling computer nerd, but he was changing into a guy who buys to work. He did it for fun. And second, he ended up hiking on Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. He did it for fun. Third, he wrote a novel. He wrote his uh, his own 50,000 word novel from scratch. For that, he wrote 1,667 words a day every day. Last, the fourth, he gave her sugar. He didn't eat any sugar for 30 days. He said the more and harder he does his 30 day challenges, his self confidence grew. And during the one month of the 30 days, instead of, the, instead of letting the time just to fly by and forgotten, he made the time much more memorable by taking a picture of his everyday exciting activities. From his this great idea these days, from a few months ago, I have been doing my everyday challenges instead of doing my 30 day challenges. Every day, I try to focus on I try to focus on each moment now in the present. And then whenever I find some little moment of joy around me, I take a picture of them. And then I put them in my band diary. And then I enjoy the photos a lot. And I fear they are more valuable, precious, meaningful, and beautiful thing. And also my these simple and easy everyday activities motivate me to keep myself to be awakened every moment of each day, which means I try to make every single moment which can just just to fly by and forgotten much more meaningful and positive, trying to find little moments of joy around me. That's for it is really very fun and very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I'd like to conclude by sharing one very impressive quote for me from one great TED speech. The title where joy hides and how to find it.
the speaker of this speech, who is a designer, said, I start to find little moments, little moments of joy wherever I go. For example, a vintage yellow car or a clever piece of street art, etc. From my everyday challenges of trying to find little moments to do around me, these days, every day, every moment, I also feel like her. I see every moment of joy, every day. And it is like little moments of joy are hidden in plain sight. And also, it is like I have a, I have a pair of rose-colored glasses. Thank you.